Let's determine whether the pair of lines is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. 5x minus y equals 8, and 5y equals negative x plus 3. So a good strategy would be to get both of these lines into the slope-intercept form, which means we need to isolate y on one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 5x from this first equation. So if I subtract 5x from both sides, I'll have minus y is equal to a minus 5x plus 8. Again, isolating y, we're going to divide or multiply through by negative 1. We'll have y is equal to negative divided by negative or negative times negative gives us positive 5x. And a positive times a negative gives us a minus, so a minus 8. So we've rearranged into the slope-intercept form our first equation into y equals 5x minus 8. Let's do the same for our second equation. We have already y isolated on one side. We just need to isolate it completely. So we need to divide both sides through by 5. So we'll have y is equal to negative x divided by 5 plus 3 divided by 5. We now have these ready in the slope-intercept form to compare their slopes. In equation number 1, our slope is 5, which is the coefficient of the x term. In our second line, the coefficient of this x term, if we imagine that there's the, the numerator has a 1, we'll end up with a slope of negative 1 fifth. We're now ready to compare. In order for lines to be parallel, they have to have the same slope. And these two lines do not have the same slope. Perpendicular lines are when the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So the negative reciprocal of 5 actually is indeed negative 1 fifth. So these lines are perpendicular.